Good morning everybody and welcome to beautiful sunny Pokhara. All right everybody, so I'm at the uh, beautiful Lake Fewer. Now they're offering boat trips down there, so for 760 rupees I can get a bloke to take me on a boat trip for one hour. So that seems pretty good value, so let's see how it goes. No thanks. No. Hello. I like a boat for one hour, please. With a guide? With a driver, yeah. 760. Yeah, pay now or after? Pay now. Okay. Am I going with you? Ah, okay. Okay, everybody, here I go on the beautiful Lake Fewer. Uh, what is your name, sir? Sorry? Okay, my name is Sasha. Uh, England. Yeah. Now, something that didn't occur to me, I'm going to be on this boat for one hour and I don't have any sun cream, so let's see how we go. There's a bit of cloud cover. Any crocodile in here? <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of adrenaline things you can do around here. I've already seen advertisements for a zip line and uh, paragliding. Here we go. I'm going under the tree. Will Mr. Tool be able to get under that branch? Is the big question. I'm very tall. <laughs> oh, phew. Over there, wow, okay. Uh, is there a king of Nepal now? Ah, so that's his summer house. Wow, it's a great place to have a summer house. Did you meet the king before? Yes. A nice man? Mahindra. Mahindra. King Mahindra. Okay. There we go. You heard him, everybody. That's the king. King Mahindra's summer house. I think he's chosen the best spot in the whole country. Maybe. Uh, where? Maybe. What is this beach over there? Nudist beach? Uh, there is a swimming pool and a sea. Ah, for swimming. I don't have my swimming gear. <laughs> Let's see what the water is like, everybody. Oh, it's a nice temperature. No, I don't think so. I don't know everybody, I've got my jeans on today and I've just got my underwear on underneath. I'm not sure that's appropriate for swimming. It might slip off. Uh, Russians and Ukrainians, they never care about such things. They love swimming in their underpants. You know what guys, uh, when I arrived in uh, Nepal, as I told you in my first video, I got a 15 day visa on arrival. Now I've been doing a little bit of research so far and apparently you can extend that 
And the way I'm feeling so far is that I would like to extend it. Now, I've been here, what, about a week in the pool so far, maybe a bit more, so I don't have that much time. And looking around me here, I feel that I'm on the doorstep to something very special, you know? And I don't want to be counting the days too much. I feel like there might be some tricks along the way in this boat trip. You know? Maybe a boat will come out and start selling me something. Oh my god, everybody, look at that view. I'm not exaggerating now, this is one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen in my life. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that's the island he's talking about. Whew. Maybe I should come and live in Nepal. Wonder how much you can buy one of these houses for by the lake. Uh, what is on this island? Is there something on this island? Yeah, a temple. There. Ah, there's a temple, okay. Hey, look, somebody's paragliding or parasailing or something over there. Oh, actually, what am I talking about? There's loads of them. Wow. Paragliders. Look how many there is. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and more in the distance over there. Now everybody, I'd like to take a pause with this video to talk to you about Pran fruit cocktail drink. It's the most delicious fruit cocktail drink you've ever had. And Pran are paying me 50 rupees to make this video. So, drink Pran, drink Pran, drink Pran. <laughs> Think uh, not necessary to see the island. Okay. Yeah, around. Have you been doing this job for a long time? Yeah, how many? 11 years. 11 years, wow. Well. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, good exercise and very calm and beautiful. <laughs> this is the off season. Off season, yeah. It's very nice for me to come here from Kathmandu because I like Kathmandu but noise all the time. Yeah. Like millions of motorbikes. <laughs> Uh, Very nice here. Yeah. Pokhara is quite palace. Sorry? Pokhara is quite palace. Yeah, quite place. Uh, you were born in Pokhara? No, it's no. not hard. By uh, three hours by bus. Three hours by bus from here, right. Not city, my place. Uh, Sorry? My place is not city. A like town or village? Yeah. yeah. Not town. Okay. Yes. Village. Now I told him not to take me to the um, temple on this island because no doubt there's going to be some funny business going on. Oh, he's feeding the fish. Oh, you can see the fish there, guys. Can you see that? the name of this temple? Kalbaraitem. Sorry? Kalbaraitem. Uh -huh. Kalbaraitem. Hindu temple. Mm, Hindu temple. Very good. And I haven't been there. You see on the top of that hill everybody there's a Buddha stupa. Maybe one day I will go there. We're burning some incense here. Uh, what is the name of these white birds in the distance? Uh, this is a small egret. 
Uh, Egret. Yeah. Okay. Bakula. Uh -huh. So everybody, you heard the man? Those big white birds that I've been seeing around? The Egrets and Bakulas. I'm sure there'll be some people on this island dis disappointed that I won't be coming. Well guys, this is a very acceptable way to spend a Monday morning. Now I've got a few things to do today. I have to go to the gym because since I left Serbia I've only been to the gym once and it really gives me a boost and some strength. So I think I'll be doing that after this boat trip. Um, then I'm gonna have some food, maybe try some uh, local specialties and take a video of it. And also I've got to do some shopping for some small things like I noticed here in Pokhara, there's a lot of mosquitoes and big ones. Okay, not that, but that. And uh, yeah, so I've got a few mosquito bites. So I need to get something for that. So I also need to buy some shorts for the gym. And um, I need to do my laundry. So when you're traveling around and you do, you get your fresh laundry, it's the best feeling. Look at that, everybody. Big bird of prey. Bird of prey, bird of prey, flying high, flying high. Bird of prey in the summer sky. There we have it, everybody. The sound of the jungle. I'm from England. Oh yeah, in driver is there? Uh, in driver in England? No, we've got uh, Uber. Uber. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm got a uh, in driver. Uh, sorry, Uber is good. Yeah, with in driver people, uh, the drivers don't know. I put the address in the map, but then they still call me and say, "Where are you?" <laughs> the map is the confusing. Confusing, yeah. A YouTuber. YouTuber, yeah. There's my picture there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, may, hopefully this waterfall will be good because of rain yesterday. Yeah, uh, raining is, is the raining season. Rainy season. So there's a big fall. Lots yeah. of water, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. walking in Lourdes <laughs> and Nepal. The politician is not good. 99% corruption in Nepal. 99% what? 99% corruption. Uh, corruption, Nepal, yeah. yeah. Uh, Same right. like, uh, you know, Sri Lanka. Yeah, Sri Lanka. I hope what happened in Sri Lanka doesn't happen in Nepal. So everybody, as you can see, when you come out of the touristy area of Pokhara, you know, it gets a... Sorry? Devi's Fall. Devi's Fall, yeah. Yeah, when you come out of the center of Pokhara, you know, it gets a bit more real. Yes, this is a Devi's Fall. Right. Is this it here? Oh, all right, everybody. So I'm like a geisha today with my umbrella. So I'm just about to go into Devi's Fall, waterfall. And I looked online and it said the price is 100 rupees. So that's uh, quite acceptable. All right, everybody, here we are. We've got a nice little garden here. Lord Buddha over there. Some nice green grass. And a model of, uh, hey, how's it going? Model of uh, Himalayas there. And here we have the summer house. And I can hear the water already. I thought something going up in the air there was smoke, but I think it's spray from the water. 
So before we go to the waterfall here, let's read this. Buddha was born in Nepal. Have you ever been to one of the most wonderful and largest caves in the South Asia? If not, please don't forget to visit, which is just 100 meters southwest from here. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Hi, how's it going? Hi, you from? England. England, uh, you from India? You're from India? Yeah, oh, right, which city? Which city? Yeah. Assam. Assam, I've heard. You had some floods there recently, yes, yeah? Yes, recently, yeah. The bad floods? Yes. Oh dear. But not in our area, it was in the hilly area types. Yeah. Okay. We stay in the hilly area. In the hills? Yes. Ah, that's okay then, not too bad. I was in Mumbai. Um, maybe one week ago and a lot of rain in Mumbai yes. so monsoon I came to Nepal because it's a bit drier than India now yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but after Nepal I go back to India I'm gonna go to Delhi Rajasthan maybe some other you places tour. a tour? A tour? no no Just, uh, you're vlogging yeah yeah the channel name? Uh, Tall Travels Tall travels. Tall travels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. upload YouTube in YouTube or just in Facebook? YouTube, yeah. I can uh, subscribe you for sure. Yeah, why not? Thanks very much. Thank <laughs> you. What's your name? What's your name? Gorov. Gorov, Sasha. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sasha. <laughs> nice to meet Hi. you. There we go. The noon of 31st of July 1960, where Miss, Mrs. Davis, a Swiss citizen, was swept away while taking a bath with her husband a few meters ahead of the fall when she died, unfortunately. Her dead body had been taken out with a lot of efforts, and since then it's been called Davis Fall. Interesting. 500 meters long, 100 feet deep, perennial flow. Best time to watch, June to September, which is now. Wow, everybody, that is quite impressive. Look at the power in that water coming down. It's made a nice rainbow in the air. That is really cool. Okay, everybody, it's uh, feeling quite refreshing now. I'm getting some spray on me. Look at that! There was a lot of rain last night, so this waterfall is really surging. Let's get even closer. There we go, guys. If you fell into this waterfall, I don't think you'd last very long. You'll get taken down into that cave down there and smashed around. It's interesting to wonder actually, if you did fall in this waterfall, where would you end up? Because it goes through some cave complex. <laughs> no idea. Must have taken millions of years for the water to carve its way through this rock and into the caves. That's pretty cool, look, like the rays of light on the spray. All right, everybody, so as with a lot of waterfalls, once you've seen it, you've seen it. There's no opportunity to swim in there, obviously, so yeah, on to the next place. I wonder how deep that well is. The only problem is I can't throw a coin in there because I don't think I've had any coins in this country so far, only paper notes. So guys, the exit is right here, and of course there's a some kind of little market to walk through. Okay everybody, so that was Devi's Fall. So it's definitely very nice, worth a visit. Now it's very, very hot today. So I've been thinking of something to do next, but I'm tempted to just go home and have a little siesta and then come out later. Good afternoon, madam. Could you tell me the way to the center of the city, please? 
So guys, um, yesterday I was approached by um, a tour guide trying to persuade me to go on a four day tour with him. So uh, I'm giving it some serious thought because it's lovely here in Pokhara but uh, you know after a while you crave some adventure. But I think before I agree to anything I have to go to the immigration office and extend my visa because I've been here for eight days so far and I've got seven days left. So I don't want to rush anything. And also, you know, I have to have a think about what I need to take with me on this trek, stuff I need. Because uh, I've never done any serious trekking before. I do like walking a lot, but I've never been on an organized trek, I don't think. Not a big one anyway, four days, wow. Yeah, I'll be, um, you know, sleeping in the mountains somewhere, eating something. So I need to ask the guide a lot of questions, so that way I know what to take with me. So everybody, a good advantage of going on a mountain trek is it's going to be much cooler. So I'm sure the air will be delightful. And the tour guide even promised me snow. Can you imagine? Snow in July. Okay, everybody, I'm on the way home now, but I came across this very beautiful spot. It's called Damside Park. Very, very beautiful. Some guys fishing here. No boats today for rent. Look at that. Amazing, eh? I do feel like a bit of a girl using this umbrella in the sun. I think it's the first time I've ever done this, but it is rather hot today. And I'd be frazzled by now otherwise. That's the thing I like about this part of the world. You just get cows casually roaming around the streets. Hello. There we go. Somebody loves BJ. 